Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another Unsigned Sunday video. Finally, I've been waiting to get back into Unsigned Sunday. I've had a few here and there, but I'm wanting to go back to having it as a weekly thing. I have a very long backlog of bands who have submitted for it, so we definitely have the amount of content we need for it. It's just been a timing thing, but now that we're in the new space, I'm hoping to do it weekly once again. We're getting it started back with a very special band today, but first, if you are in an unsigned band and you want to be added to the list of bands we have to consider for these videos, please email your music you know, anything I may need for editing, like your logo, information you want me to share in the video, that sort of thing, over to rachelreacts at gmail.com. I will have that email address in the description of this video, but please only use it if you are in the band that is requesting because we have a super long backlog and that is just how things are for right now. If that ever changes, I will let y'all know. But as I said, we have a very special band today. It's one I have heard before. Recently, within the last couple of months, somebody requested KMS by Deadskin. I loved it. It has to be one of my my, like top 10 favorite bands we've done through stream that I found they have a, a sound that is just super aligned with what I've been listening to a lot of lately and they have their of course their own sound that they're adding to that so just a very exciting band to me I'm looking forward to what they've done next the band is dead skin which you probably know since you clicked on the video uh, the song is never bloom their new track it's about a month ago now that I'm finally getting to this but their newest track I will link the video as well as all of their social media promotional links all that good stuff in the description of this video thank you to Mitch from dead skin for your patience I know I've had this on my radar for so long, but I'm glad to be having the new setup in order to do it. So I'm gonna stop talking. We are gonna get straight into it. Snare sounds good. Tasty drumming on this. Finally see the rip is back in 
Oh. You sound. Uh. Ooh, this is like a combination of my favorite things. Which we'll talk about. Hmm. Dead skin, never bloom. Let's discuss. So first thing to touch on would be, uh, this is a producer whose name I'm seeing more and more, Tom, who is, uh, it's Tom, I think you would pronounce it, Cadden who is in Body Prison. Body Prison is really sweet. We did a few tracks on stream, but Heaven's Gate works with the same production team. Uh, although Heaven's Gate has like a, a, an abundance of people who's working on the production of that side, but uh, To The Grave has had some production. So I'm seeing more and more often and I'm really liking what I'm hearing. This track, the drums sound phenomenal at uh, the point where i pointed out the snare i'm pretty sure was during the chorus of the song so you get you get that multiple times but it's consistent throughout the track that the drums sound that good so that speaks to both production and of course the drummer uh, it also just sounds good it sounds tasteful uh, i'm the more i get into learning the drums and stuff the more stuff like that sticks out but this feels like something that even going back two months before i started learning and uh, diving into things like it would have stuck out to me as well uh, the vocalist of this band was a real draw for me on the first listen to KMS that was one it's just that sort of style kind of that you get in like not the same style but the level of emotion the kind of same energy I guess that you get listening to like Alpha Wolf or something and Alpha Wolf's A Quiet Place to Die has stayed on my rotation since it came out still it's pretty much coming up on my chart weekly at this time and it's, they're about to release you know they've just finished up or are in the process actually right now just finished bass and guitars on their newest album so uh, that speaks a lot to the sound i'm liking but it doesn't sound the same you know as listening to that it has its own sound at the same time uh, i loved loved the drums on this of course as i already mentioned but it, it feels like a strong track through and through because you have moments where the riffs were a part that really stuck out to me uh, there was one riff in particular and and some of the kind of wackier parts too even with vocals there were a few parts where the guitars were doing something weird that were kind of like uh, you know, it's got to do with both panning and some effects, I think, but I'm not 100% sure as I don't do that stuff. Uh, but some of those quirky things are things we talk about more and more on the channel as stuff that will give the track identity and help it, even after like one listen or something, be able to be like pulled up in your brain, essentially, I guess, for lack of a, a better way to word that. Uh, but so the sound of this is really big. It sounds well produced. It sounds well performed. All of those things, uh, boxes are being checked. I feel like this is a track where it's easy to focus on like the bigger, crunchier parts, especially the way that it transitions into the ending of the song was perfect for me. That's what I meant when I said like two of my favorite things because it was very sad and heartfelt and then it became kind of more aggressive and had that drop and those the mixture cannot be beat it's one of the reasons uh that a lot of my favorite bands actually are my favorite bands i just love that and having the rather than just ending with like you know the outro breakdown and skipping that sort of bridge to it uh, it has it checks more boxes for me, I guess, is the easiest way to say that. And it's very easy, what I was about to say. Uh, it's very easy to focus, I think, on those like bigger, crunchier parts. But what's really neat about this track uh, as well would be some of those like eerie leads I was talking about, stuff that adds to the atmosphere. You have some really neat melodies as the track 
like I'm talk like the section I'm talking about that bridge section before the drops and it carries through to the end like just having a very solid sound so for me I wouldn't really want to see anything different I like this just as much maybe even more than I enjoyed the track that got me so focused on the band and I was planning on doing this whether it was an unsigned Sunday or just a video I couldn't get to for quite some time this is it would also be considered just for for a regular video which a lot of the time for unsigned Sunday it's a, maybe a band I haven't heard of before we do a lot of that but uh, so i think that this band has a ton of potential this track furthers that idea for sure and shows uh, some really promising signs uh, the things that i've mentioned i love the vocals love the drumming the most but they again they had some really big moments with the guitars uh, with the overall mood of the track and i will be seeing whatever it is that they do next i will link all their social media promotional links in the description this band is relatively newer to me i've heard an ep uh, which I think uh, maybe that's all they have. I think that one EP is what they have prior to this single. Um, so I'm still kind of building my idea of that. Maybe I'd have a little bit more on the criticism end of things, but I'm, I'm honestly happy with this. I don't have anything I would want different, so I'm not going to make something up. Let me know what you thought in the comments. You know where the links are for them and everything. The my links will also be there in that link tree that will have the Patreon, the Discord server. Uh, what else do I have? Twitch, Twitch, which I'm starting up. It should be this upcoming week at the time you're viewing the video. I should have at least one Twitch stream starting up and then we'll be doing more as I get everything settled here in the new space. YouTube streams will be resuming this week on Tuesday at the regular time. Should be scheduled on my channel already. All that stuff. The Patreon will be getting a big update here soon. I'll be offering even more than what's listed there, but everything I currently offer is listed in the tiers. Discord server invite link. That is where the community is based for my channel. Anything you may need related to my channel will be there. Feel free to check any of it out. And I very much appreciate you watching up until this point and for watching my content. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.